All right, this is John here, and we are going to try uh, solving some project Euler problems. We did all the closure cones, and feel like uh, that was a good introduction. I want you to learn more, so everybody recommends doing this project Euler Euler. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, problem. So let's go ahead and start with number one. So the problem is to you know, just read it. If we list all the natural numbers below 10, there are multiples of 3 or 5. We get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of these multiples is 23. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 below 1,000. Okay, so uh, we'll break this down. And I put in this comment. We can take that out since we can see both here. Um, I think our strategy here is we want to uh, we want to take all the I'm going to take a thousand numbers. We want to filter out the ones that are multiples of three or five, and then add them up. So um, we should probably we'll start with uh, figuring out a way to filter those. So we need to define a predicate function to give to the filter function. Okay, so let's start with that. Um, We'll say defin. We'll just call it is multiple for our case. We're going to give it the argument n. So uh, what we want to do is do uh, conditional logic to say uh, if the remainder of n and 3 is equal to 0 then we want to return true also if the remainder of n and 5 is equal to 0, then we also want to return true. Otherwise, else we return false. I'll tidy that up here. Okay, so we have our function is multiple. If something is divisible by 3, the remainder is, when we divide by that, is 0. So 3, 5 would be 0. Otherwise, we don't want it, so we return false. So let's evaluate that expression. OK, so now we've defined our function. So let's, uh, let's test it out. Is multiple. Uh, and let's just do that on, uh, well, we'll just map that function across the range of numbers 1 through 10, which means really 1 through 9. And let's see what we get. Okay, down at the bottom in the REPL we see false, false, true. So 1, 2 were false, 3 is true, 4 is false, 5 is true, 6 is true, 7 false, 8 false, 9 true. So 3, 5, 6, 9. So that, that looks like exactly what the problem stated, so that we got that right. Okay, so we have our filter correct. Um, so now we want to filter with our function and our range will be uh, 1 through 1000. So we can execute that. And there we go, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 12. That, OK, so that, that all looks correct. So now this whole thing is returning the uh, a sequence of the stuff we want and we want to add that whole thing up so now uh, we're just gonna apply the sum function over that sequence and evaluate that and it gives us two three three one six eight so uh, we'll try that out let's see what happens two three three one six eight and our confirmation code 81975. Let's check it out. 
Okay, we got number one right. Thank you for watching.